Thank you. Thank you. I think it is almost a certainty that Chuma Idoga is at left tackle uh, for the first practice. I think it's likely he's at left tackle for the first game. And I think it's possible he's at left tackle for the entire season. Mm -hmm. And I think there's there could very easily be some people immediately because of that situation saying Tyler Guyton, the the offensive line version of Mozzie Smith already. I, I so the Cowboys want to drop this on us right before training camp. Right before training camp. I think Tyler Guyton is going to be a Pro Bowl player. I, I think he has that in him. I don't think it's going to be right now. I think there's still things that they got to get done. And I think this coaching staff feels like, do we want all of our, with our jobs kind of on the line, do we want to trust somebody going through growing pains? What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back. Like I never left. What's good with y'all, man? How are y'all feeling? Okay, pardon the lighting, because that way look crazy. Look, man, crazy long weekend. Enjoying myself, celebrating my wife's birthday. We about to head to the airport. Everybody's still getting their stuff together. I'm exhausted. New Orleans owes me nothing, but it's back to business. It's time to talk to these Cowboys, because training camp starts in a couple days, as far as people reporting. And we got stuff to talk about. Mainly what I saw last night when I was trying to catch up on information when I finally started to sober up. <laughs> and for what I see, Tyler, oh, I guess I'm number here. Tyler Guyton probably is not going to start. Shout out to Brian Broadus, Bobby Belt, um, the Love of the Star podcast. Y'all already know who they are. Great insider, radio personalities, scout for the Cowboys for mad years. Like, they know their stuff, they be at practice. Hearing that the Cowboys are going to play this game, this Chuma Idoga game, Chuma Idoga on this roster should be there for one reason. One reason. Break glass in case of emergency. That's it. Somebody got hurt. Two people got hurt. Let's act like <laughs> I seen Richards. Um, a bunch of people should have got hurt before he on the field. We saw him last year. No hate to him, but he Chuma. It, you just Chuma, dog. I'm not mad at you. You've been in the league for a little bit of time. Let's just say you're or not a veteran, but you, you know you got you got, you got experience. That's it. That's your that's your superpower. You're not really good at the sport. That's why you're a cowboy, and we signed you for eighteen dollars and some <laughs> and some free club passes. And it is what it is. But the fact that they're considering starting you, all jokes aside, changes the whole season. It almost is a head nod to like, we don't really care about winning too much. We're, we're, we're thinking about developing. You always want to develop your rookies. You do. I ain't going to say you don't. Um, and your younger players. You, y'all know Kalen Carson and, 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 and Marshawn Nealon and all of them. We want to make sure that they are all good, trained up, ready to go. But not at the expense of the season. Chuma, Dak's blind side has been always important. Now, I know someone's going to come in the comments and say, when you get paid $60 million, which he's not making $60 million, and he never asked for $60 million because I've been looking for that story. I've been looking for that story. No one can find it for me. Find it. Find, find the clip of where Dak or his agent or anybody in his camp requested for $60 million. Just do it. Just please. But anyway. When you're making that money, you got to make do with lesser parts. And you do because some of your money would have went to other players on a good organization. Not with the Cowboys. Because another thing you can't point out to me is the last time the Cowboys used extra money laying around to go get free agents, make trades. They don't do that neither. So I know it sounds like that's what they should do. That's what normal teams would do. That's not what the Cowboys do. So let's stop playing. Okay. All right, all right. So listen, Truma starting is a big deal because if, when he has to start because somebody got hurt, you're like, we gotta make do. 
But to do it on purpose up front when you just drafted it, because if you were planning on playing Chuma all year, why in the FUC would you take a first round left tackle and not take something that can help you win this year? If you wanted a developmental left tackle, take one in the second round and develop his ass. If you didn't feel like Tyler Guyton was ready, he's too raw, like we were all complaining about. This is the, the key. We was all like, yo, he ain't ready. He got a lot of work to do. If you felt like we did, you should have took Keon Coleman or somebody like that. You should have went out there, grabbed me a receiver. You feel me? Um, went and got a running back. Forget it. Something to help Dak Prescott. This would be another nod to why some people think that the front office does not like Dak. Y'all be doing stuff that sound like a sabotage. Y'all think he might leave, so now y'all leaking stories that, hey, man, well, we probably going to start anybody. Literally, there's a story that they're saying that um, Mike Solari, our offensive line coach, does not want to start two rookies. So that also X's out Cooper Beebe. No hate to Brock Hoffman. But if our line is Chumi Doga... Tyler Smith, all pro. Brock Hoffman, see what we got. Zach Martin, all pro. And, and um, Terrence Steele, it's going to be worse than last year, definitively. You put Cooper BB out there, I know he's raw and young, but he's also more powerful and has better attributes than Tyler Beattis ever had. Upgrade. You put Tyler Guyton out there as the only weak link, but at least he has better athleticism, great feet, Maybe he could just get in front of people. He doesn't have the power yet. But, like, maybe he could do some things. And when he's not going against Miles Garrett, that first week probably bad. It's probably bad. He's probably going to get worked out. That's fine. First couple weeks, he got T.J. Watt. He got a lot of people in the first couple weeks. But then it eases up. <laughs> My point is, if Tyler Guyton just can get out there and get all the rawness out, and maybe he have a him going through that blender that first five, six weeks with those players I just mentioned. Maybe by the end of the season, he right. Why would you play around? What can he gain from sitting on the side the entire year? You got him with um, Duke Manny, whether he works miracles. I don't expect him to come out there and be Ty, Tyron Smith. I expect him to go out there and show small flashes throughout the year and his youth, athleticism, um, his health to pay dividends. But to just on purpose say we're not going to play him is giving a head nod to say, yo, we don't really care about, like, we already think you don't care about winning this season. But it starts to look like self sabotage. And that's not good. That is not good. I would love to know what y'all think in the comments. Um, and before I go get ready and finish up packing and head to this airport, get back to my home studio so y'all can get, you know, Maybe we could do a live stream. I know I miss y'all. Hope y'all miss me. But seriously, this Chumi Doga thing, um, Bobby Belt and them, I'm not mad at them. They're just passing information. Never killed a messenger, you know. But I really don't know what to say. Because Tyler Guyton, although we all thought he was wrong stuff, we said hey, the Cowboys just going to roll with it. The fact that they're going to shift back to how we were thinking why didn't you take somebody else? There were other players you could have took. This whole grand plan of we got two for one offensive lineman, it looked great. It started to be like, yo, okay, all right, Cowboys. Y'all smarter than all of us. And then to not take advantage of it, to bench both of them, not great. Yeah, we'll be great next year. But then you're going to be trading problems for other problems. Because let's just say you pissed Dak off with all these little games you're playing. Right? You piss him off. He dip. Let's just say. But Tyler Guyton is ready and Cooper Beebe's ready. Let's just say hypothetically. And you roll Trey Lance out there, Cooper Rush, or some other rookie you drafted. Now you got a new problem. The rawness is coming from the quarterback position. So yeah, you get great protection for your new running back, because then we'll probably get one of those next year too. And we'll probably go draft a receiver next year too. We'll get all the things we should have got for Dak Prescott after Dak Prescott leaves. When we don't fucking need it. So Trey Lance can be comfortable. That's how the Cowboys move. 
I'm getting myself angry early in the morning. So look, I'm going to slide. Um, I'm going to see y'all a little bit later. Um, unless something breaks and I got to try to record something at the airport, which is almost impossible. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Chumi Doga should not start if I ain't make myself self clear. Put Guyton out there. Put Asim Richards out there. Put me out there. One of y'all want to go out there. Not Chuma. Just not Chuma. And if Chuma does end up starting, I'm going to complain, kick my feet, drop down and give y'all a temper tantrum like my eight-year-old does sometimes. It is what it is. It's your boy, Mr. Roman. I'll holler at y'all soon. Peace.